Hello folks, it's Bill of the North again, and today's video is about the East Burks Boat Company's plastic sextant, the EBCO. Like all sextants, this one has its strengths and its weaknesses, and I'll go over some of those today. Hopefully those are all visible. There are five sunshades on this one, and a lot of people say that they, they uh, cloud up over time and become unusable, and that was the case with this one. As far as I can tell, these are two of the original sun shields. Um, at least that's what came with it. Maybe these are replacements, but you cannot see any light through them. So what I did was uh, I simply replaced the lens with some plastic gels that I have, and they do a pretty good job. These frames will actually come off. I'll try to do that without any damage here. And the, this little frame holds the uh, colored the tinted portion. I'll pop that out. There we go. That comes out and there's two pieces of plastic or glass and uh, I put some colored gels in there. You could probably use soda bottles if that's all you had. And then they just snap right back in. So that's how you can make it usable once again. I hope that's in focus. There's no focus adjustment on this camera at all, so it's almost useless for close-in work like this. Um, there are some adjustments on the mirrors right here. It looks like it takes an Allen wrench or a Bristol wrench. This sextant holds its corrections pretty well, so I really haven't found any real need to make a, adjustments to it. So in my opinion, the lenses uh, the lens frame is a little bit small. Sometimes it interferes with your sight. The viewfinder or the telescope here is actually interchangeable with that on the Davis sextant. The index scale goes up to 120 degrees. For gross adjustments, you just push this lever and then you can move the arm uh, considerably. And for finer adjustments, just rotate the micrometer drum. You can get readings down to a fifth of a minute. The manual is really just a pamphlet that goes over some basics of the sextant and some basic functions. The main weak point of the manual is it doesn't really go into the nomenclature of the individual parts very well. If you already have a sextant and know how to use it, you'll be able to figure it all out, no big deal. It all fits nicely inside this plastic container to prevent damage. Yay, I got through the whole thing and it's mostly in focus.